Okay. How the press king Jesus are you doing? This is your chosen once again and I'm so happy to be talking to you. You're welcome to the Why Not Show where we believe that if others can, you also can. We are streaming live from Kingfisher Hotel in Jinja. And right about now I have the CEO of Kingfisher. He's going to be introducing himself to you and tell us what he does. And then I'll ask him some few little questions. You're most welcome. Thank you very much. Please let them know about your name and then what you do. Uh, my name is Bernard Fisher. I'm Bernard? Bernard Fisher. Fisher, okay. Uh, Bernard Martin Matovo Fisher. Uh -huh. But I just say Bernard Fisher. Mm. I'm the CEO of Kingfisher Hotels. Okay. We're a group of uh, hotels right now two, but we're building the third one. Mm. Uh, we have one in Jinja, one mm -hmm. in Kichwamba, Western Uganda, and we're building one in Karamoja very soon. Mm. My job is basically to make the customers happy, make sure everything is all right, uh, do strategic thinking, look at future technology, adapt to it before anyone else can adapt to it, mm. even before people in America can adapt to new technology. Mm. It's mm. part of my job to do that and mm. generally choose staff who are the best of the best mm. and all good, good service. So that Kingfisher comes from your name? Fisher. Yes, yes, it's, it's my father's nickname. He was always called King Fisher when mm. he was working in Uganda for 30 years. Mm. He came in 73. So when from German. From German. And when he retired, he was like, let me start a company. And I was mm. like, ah, my nickname is King Fisher. Mm. The King Fisher bird is over here at the waters. Mm. Let me name my hotel King Fisher. Mm. Mm. And now it became a group of companies. Wow. So how long has this existed? This one has existed since 98 we started building and we're incorporated in 2000. So it's about 20 years. 20 years. If you count the building, it's more than 20. If you it's count the incorporation. my age. Oh, how old are you? 24, maybe 25. Wow, wow, you look young. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, this, is, this is 20 years. The other one is 15 years. Mm -hmm. And then we took a small break to do other things like farming. Mm -hmm. And now we're getting back into more hotel buildings. You also have farming part of Kingfisher? Yes, we have uh, well. farms in Kono, Masaka, where my mother is from, mm -hmm. and also in Karamoja. So how did your father get your mother when he was in Jinja and your mother was in Masaka? He met, he met her in Kampala, YMCA. She was the secretary of his boss, okay. a black American at the time. Mm -hmm. uh, and so he was transferred to Jinja and he was like, ah boss, I think your, your, your secretary, secretary could help us in Jinja. <laughs> when she came to yeah. Jinja, she just went straight into family life. So, wow. Yeah. He played a, a trick. Yeah, uh, yeah I, see, I see he played a real trick. So how are the, how, which challenges have you gotten? being in this business for over 20 years? Well, it's um, of course the regu re regulations and uh, things you need to operate in Uganda are always mm. tough. You mm. know, there are certain stringent, tough things you have to do, mm. no matter what, whether you have the money or not. Mm. Uh, in the beginning, there was no culture of working in the hotel. It was very hard to find people yeah. who have that uh, kind of uh, training mm. and lifestyle, which is good for a waiter or mm. a housekeeper mm. or a receptionist. But it, Uganda is catching up. Uganda is catching up very fast. The mm. new generation is very good at hotel work and mm. good customer service. Mm. So now it's very easy. Mm. But in the beginning, it was tough to train. We just used to get villagers from around and have mm. to train and them train manually. Them. Yeah. So how do you overcome such challenges? Training, training, training. Training, 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 training. And if you can't train someone, you get someone new, you try and see. But eventually, you, you get the right team. So do you get those people who have basically studied such stuff or you can get anyone else and train, train, train? We usually are open. Okay. We usually like being, we, we say you come bring your CV no matter mm. who you are mm. and we try to judge the person. We're very mm. good at judging mm. the, personality. the personality of someone. Can you fit here? Maybe you've made the wrong choice. Maybe mm. your parents forced you to take this course. Since mm. you're actually good at hotel, mm. you're good at being a waiter mm. or a receptionist or a manager mm. and things like that. So we, we, we try to judge people based on who you are, mm. not what you are mm. on paper, but who you are when we see you. So what are kind of the services that someone can expect when they come to Kingfisher Hotel, Ginger? We have uh, nice, nice rooms, mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, massage, mm -hmm. we're building a spa, but currently we have the massage room, you can get a world-class massage. We even have a physiotherapist who can help you heal mm -hmm. from injuries and mm -hmm. backache. Mm -hmm. We have um, mini golf, we have um, human Ludo, mm -hmm. where, where human beings can be the pieces of Ludo. Mm -hmm. We have uh, a boat ride to the source of the Nile. Mm -hmm. As you can hear right now, we have music, so mm -hmm. you can come and book a time and say my wedding is here or my party is here. And we have a beautiful swimming pool, one so far, mm -hmm. but we're going to build two others with, it, with time. I think by next year we shall have another pool uh, a bit down because you can see the noise is here. People mm -hmm. want to be quiet here. So mm -hmm. whoever likes noise, swimming the pool down side. there, pool party. Here will be more cool. quiet. Yes. Wow. Exactly. 
So I love the fact that you have even a boat cruise to the source of the Nile. Coast. And I designed the boats myself. I designed them with a welder, a carpenter, and a tailor.